Gender and Media Connect is implementing the She Leads project in partnership with Heavers, funded by the Embassy of Ireland in Pretoria. The carefully selected partners in Zimbabwe to work on a project which amplifies women's voices by offering them digital and media skills, as well as connecting them with journalists as new source. The partners include Women's Coalition Zimbabwe, Patsime Edutainment Trust, Institute of Young Women Development, Women's Institute of Leadership Development, General Agriculture Plantation Workers Union of Zimbabwe, Gender and Media Connect. Through this project, Gender and Media Connect coached members of the She Lead Consortium on how to work with the media and have an appreciation of the operations of the media with an aim of increasing visibility of their She Leads intervention. As part of the organizations that contribute to the She Leads project, I attended a newsroom newsmaker meeting which was organized by the Gender Media Connect and this meeting sought to bring together journalists from both state and private media houses and civil society organizations. The meeting was quite a fruitful one and quite an important one because it helped us as an organization to understand how the media functions and also to understand how we can uh, get our stories to be published in the media. Previously as an organization we often had challenges trying to reach out to journalists from state media houses. After that training we've managed to nurture relationships with journalists from state media houses and also private media houses. I personally believe that it is very important to have strong relations with uh, the media because it helps us as civil society organizations to amplify the voices of ordinary women within the various communities where we operate in. Ever since we, we, we partook into the, in this project, uh, uh, the gender sensitive workshops, we have um, purposively uh, gone out to produce content that um, looks into gender issues. We never had a, really a passion to, to, to look at saying how many females do we have, how many males do we have. But, apart, but last, uh, starting from 2021, 2020, we then said no, 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 guys, let's look at this. And when the workshops came through, they really helped us with, ah, there's something wrong here. Who is telling the female perspective. So we went out and then we started doing comedy classes. And in our comedy classes, we tried by all means to have a balance, to say, if we're having 20, let's have 10 male and 10 female. But imagine us creating content that is educating people on gender sensitivity and uploading it on digital platforms. And it goes viral. It covers probably the landscape of, of 16 million Zimbabweans. We might reach 100,000, 200,000. Well, I think it's important to amplify women's voices because women are also part of a national development. They too have something to give, they too have something to contribute. I'm conscious now of how powerful my voice is upon taking this training. Now that's when I know oh, my voice as a media practitioner, my voice as a woman is very powerful. And I'm grateful that that's what this platform has also given me as a female because I'm now able to um, then say what I feel and ensure that it has been heard and also be a voice for others as well. I would love to um, then teach others how to then use their own voice as well because it's just as important for them to use their own voices, not for me to use my voice for them. It's then important for me to take what I have learned or what I'm learning in this industry to then help um, other women then get their own voice because, especially young people, because we are the future. Kudara, social media would sensationalize those issues on radio but because of engagements with gender and media connector I've managed to have this different way of thinking in that you know what you need to look at certain issues in a gender lens with a gendered lens now Taokuti part every program that we do because I'm conscious also about the environment that I'm serving the Mashungo province Taokuti part every program we have to make sure there's a gender element we need to encourage women to participate more and have their their voices heard 
being on radio gives uh, a certain power you know we, we shape uh, what people think and talk about at the end of the day so I have a situation where now I am able to create content iri inclusive iri gendered budget consultations would make it a point to say if the parliamentary portfolio committee is going to come each a budget women should be empowered to know what a budget is and what exactly they should be asking about it and also i'm happy to say that the the news department has also taken notes and now they have a gender desk really specific to report on gender issues these are some of the things that we discussed after my meetings ne gender and media connect my workshops and after that uh i'm using my social media platforms i've got my facebook i've got my twitter I've got my LinkedIn as well. Photo choose what my topic. To a good one, I'm going in a certain agenda way. Because of my engagement with the Shields campaign, amplifying women's voices through the media, I decided to further my studies to do masters in gender and policy studies, just so I can understand better uh, gender issues, just so I can be able to look at the world with a gender lens and be able to create content which is gendered in order for me to help other women. The project strengthened the following participants, online and radio personalities, Simuka Comedy, Hewohi FM, Diamond FM, Skies Metro FM, Star FM, 98.4 FM, Magamba Network, Dendere Arts Trust, Kumakomo Community Radio, Capitalk 100.4 FM, Action Hub, and Enthuse Magazine. These participants have divergent voices in public debate that challenges discriminatory narratives, norms, and practices which undermine women's participation and leadership. The project implements a substantial media campaign which empowers participants with amplifying women's voices and increase their visibility. Gender and Media Connect is committed to continuously foster gender inclusivity.